hey guys this is Rima welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're gonna talk about how I passed my and clicks in second attempt and uh, how I managed my stress this video has been requested by one of my friend in the comment box in recently uploaded video of um, and clicks where I talk about free materials and few tips so let's begin start for my second attempt I gave six weeks of time for myself um, I didn't wait for any work I didn't do any travel i didn't like go for any small outings or i didn't ma meet any of my friends so i actually stayed in the cave for six weeks and then if for this six weeks i make a study plan where i can actually cover all the contents so i will show you the content in the pdf format but before that um just remember the time sheet the time management that i have done in this section it's for my second attempt in my first attempt i have already studied all the contents and still failed so that studied content also helped me during this second attempt so i didn't have to give much time to the content so it it was just like a revision for me so remember that yeah so if you are if it's your first attempt if you are gonna do the first attempt for the end clicks make sure you spend more time in comparison to the time that i have given in this um video so for my second attempt and clicks i um used um solely archer so archer really helped me um i don't know what you guys are using but trust me archer really helped me the way the questions are there um it was similar to the anklets examination that i took and um, when i did the archer um i took like you know 60 days course i think um where i just received their content and videos so where i learned from the videos and the content that they have given me so it was really helpful and um like i studied for like 10 to 12 hours in a day i used to wake up early in the morning 6 a.m because i'm early bird i don't remember anything when i study at the night time so depending on you how you like to study in night time or in afternoon or in the morning you can divide your time but for me it worked in the morning time so i studied like from 6 to 8 6 to 7 and at the end of the day i always finish my uh, study with the 75 questions so i always used to practice 75 questions which i have also mentioned mentioned in my old video and apart from that um, i also took the saunders as my reference and then i listened to the mark Lemick audio and Sarah videos so these are really helpful so let's start with the pdf now all right guys so uh let's talk about the study plan i'm just gonna use my laptop so i can see as well down here so don't mind me looking down and all and i'll show you the picture inside by side in here okay let's start you can see there is like six weeks 42 days study plan uh, which is divided into four parts so the first part is system by system so when you complete this system by system uh, in my second attempt i did like one complete one system a day and um, part two was specialities where i divided it into different parts i'll show you in forward videos so uh, in here i gave two days for one specialty um second one third one is prioritization and delegation so i gave one day for this topic and then for part four fundamentals fundamental includes uh, most of the things that has been repeated up in the system and system and other specialities so i will show you later on so you will also have like you know idea about what the fundamentals will include so okay so when we talk about part one system by system you need to study anatomy physiology tests related to the system any disease conditions their pathophysiology their signs and symptoms their causes their risk factors um the complications any treatment and education that needs to be provided similarly the treatment modules related to the system and then lab values and any related drugs or any um other things that related to the system so when you finish that system then you need to uh, like you can watch the related videos and or listen to the related audios and then you must practice 75 questions so it's like you know you can um like you know revise the content in the question answer form so it's really easy when you do this way um so for example if you take the cardiac system then you need to study the anatomy and physiology of the heart so where you study like blood flow cardiac cycle or an electrical conduction system and then you need to understand the normal and abnormalities uh, flora related to the system such as ekz hemodynamics such as preload afterload and you also need to learn the heart related diseases such as hypertension heart failure and etc 
so you know like i think i hope you get what i mean um so next is part two specialties so in specialties you can uh, divide it into mental health obstetrics newborn complications pediatrics and oncology so here um like you know after finishing each of these specialties you can listen to the audio and watch videos like before and practice 75 questions every day um so in part three uh when you do the prior registration delegation questions uh you can give it like one day for it and then i think mark clement audio and then sara video help really helped in this topic um and you can also practice 75 questions every day from this topic um for this topic i like you know took only one day for uh to practice like you know because the topic itself is very short but it's just like there's a lot of questions coming from this topic so i think um yeah it's um important and if it's your second first step then give it more than one day and part four fundamentals so fundamentals it includes the most of the things that repeats on itself there's lab values abc's any pharmacology and furthermore so because you studied system by system you studied speciality um i think um, like you know you when you reach to this point you already know most of your content so you do not have to give much time in here so when i um divided my fundamentals when i studied live values abc interpretation i want to give it one day because i already read it during my system by system and abc interpretation i always i already learned when i did the um like you know in the respiratory system so now, when you do the fluid and electrolytes, same thing, like it will come under like an you know, integumentary system, burn and all. So you, you can give each day one, one day for fluid and electrolytes and fluid overload and IV fluids. And so for pharmacology, you can use the like, you know, um, like the common drugs, it's contraindications, any anticoagulants, their level, the deduction level, for example, or any dose calculation. So overall, you can give one day to it. And the next is line tubes and drains, isolation, precautions, and waste strength. So these three topics are relatively very small uh, because line tubes and drains you can cover when you study system. For example, if you're studying genital urinary, you can cover catheter and all. And for isolation and precaution, um, like when you do the immuno, uh, immune system, then you can understand about like um, any like standard precautions, airborne precautions. It will come under the immune system, basically. So when you do the risk trend, the risk trend will come under the mental health. So when you do the mental health topic, uh, the risk trend will be covered as well. So you can overall give it one day. And then the next is growth and development, which will come under the pediatrics. You can also give it one day. Um, it might be a bit long, but uh, when you study pediatrics, I think most of these are covered, so it's good. And for cultural consideration, ethical concept, and legal concept, these three can come together because it's most like mostly related. So I think it can be covered it one day. And the last one is documentation. So for, for documentation, you can actually give like half day to one day because it's not like a lot to cover in it. Um, after completing all this content, you still got like nine and a half day. So where you can do your mock test and you can do your like, you know, uh, any kind of revision that's left. So for me, it really helped this, like, you know, this kind of study plan really helped. And then um, I took it from the Archer and I, I'm telling you, Archer is really helpful again and again. But like, you know, how this like study plan has been divided, it's really helped. It really helped me during this period. So hopefully this study plan will also be helpful for you. Let's talk about the stress management. I know like stress, it's a really big thing when we are giving any kind of exam. And of course, in ANCLEX, when you have to attempt like more than one, you are already tired and you're already feeling like, you know, stressed more than enough. You can explain about it. So when I took my second exam, I didn't tell anyone that I'm going to take my second exam. Trust me, guys, it really helped me. It really helped me to prevent that pressure. Someone's like, you know, when you tell anyone, they will be just expecting you to pass it. And then it's your second attempt. And then you are also like, you know, quite uh, furious. And you're also quite uh, like, you know, make, make up your mind. Okay, I need to pass it. Otherwise, what people will think about me. So if you want to like, you know, remove this kind of unnecessary stress from your life, just don't tell anyone that you are going to give your exam. Okay. And second point um, and second technique, a good timetable. So a good timetable is really necessary so you won't miss any content and you won't feel overwhelmed at the end of the um, preparation. So what happens when you don't make any timetable, you will just like study from everywhere, right? 
you won't go through the content by content or step by step so you will feel like oh no at the end you will feel like oh no it has not been completed oh no this has not been completed rather than doing that make a good study timetable wake up at six o'clock like you know whatever your time wake up for me it worked like from six to eight so i studied whole day i used to take one to two hours like break in between but it again depended on me like you know uh, when i make that timetable and when i had that study uh, plan i was for sure i'm gonna complete all the content so i'm gonna like you know i also had time separated for my revision and which really gave me on like you know sense of peace in my mind that okay i'm gonna cover everything and i'm also gonna do revision and i'm also gonna practice the mock test so definitely it will like reduce your stress guys so third technique third technique when you feel very overwhelmed and you don't feel like studying then you can also listen to the videos and uh, like you know you can also listen to the audios and you can watch videos you can also watch like motivational podcasts or motivational videos or what you can do is like you know make an audio uh, in your phone where you studied everything like i also used to do that this is very helpful um like i can show you the picture in here like i have recorded so many videos like audios where i just talked about whatever i read and then whenever i was bored whenever i don't feel like stunning i just used to listen to those audios so it's really helpful try it try it. like you know have a go and then try it see if it's helpful for you and the num the last uh, stress management remember like you know this exam goes for five hours so there is no need to stress out that you won't be able to complete all the questions when you get the question read it very thoroughly and read all the choices that has been given under that question so there is no rush do not take it rustly take your own time and then take your break drink plenty of water have a good sleep before your exam day and then don't think about it like you know if i fail it what will happen and blah 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 just give exam without thinking anything remember you can always give give this exam again and again so uh, I also talked about this in my last video. So this stress management really helped me. So hopefully this video is helpful for you to pass your exam. And then don't feel demotivated that it's your second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt and blah, blah. I have seen lots of people passing in so many attempts and some of them passed in first attempt. It's all about the stress management and it's all about like, you know, how you are taking this exam. So don't feel rushed. Just take your time and then um, if you feel really demotivated, then watch the podcast, watch the motivational videos, um, like, you know, think about, like, you know, dream, think about your dreams, how you want to complete it. And I think just about it as a phase that, like, you know, the dark and the hard phase, which will go away very soon, okay? Um, so, yeah um that's all for today and hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys so if you do like the video please do like comment and subscribe my channel and then i'll see you in my next video bye